up guys I'm currently doing the best right now that I've been doing since the surgery a hundred percent the pain has significantly decreased it might sound like there's pain in my voice still but it's just hard to talk because all this shit I'm really not feeling much pain right now the most I feel right now is honestly right under here my nose there's a, like a little throb where they cut my nose to do the surgery like I'm not really feeling much pain like on my head or in my nose right now but just kind of the cut parts it's weird because the pain keeps like shifting in different spots all the time really strange it's like there's always something else that like something gets better and then something else gets worse and it's like damn. But right now, <clears throat> I'm feeling the best I probably have since the first day of the surgery. So we're on the right track right now. There's no doubt about that. And as for this video, bro, I saw something earlier. On social media and I read it down right away because I knew I wanted to talk about something and this is crazy I forget like completely what it was about it was about the internet and how things have evolved and stuff but I was just thinking could you imagine how different things would be if the internet was to just disappear could you imagine how fast and how eager people would be to reach out to one another to like get in relationships like so fast and stuff like this because bro if the internet disappears everybody you have a contact with is gone the only thing you can see is people in real life now so people would be so fast to pick somebody to like you know be in a relationship with it's crazy like <clears throat> the world we live in today has everybody taken each other for granted and I'm not going to say everybody because I know for a fact I don't make these mistakes I'm a simple person I know what I deserve and I would gladly do that but there's so many people that do make those mistakes and they, they, they mess around a lot and stuff like that and there's far too many people take it for granted what's right like what what's directly in front of them. They're just so stupid to take it for granted. And to just mess around a little too much because they know what's there is not gonna leave. It's not going to disappear. It's not going to go because they're right there. Anytime, any day, because of the internet. People feel a lot safer today because of the internet. What's there is not going to leave. What's there, there's always a window of opportunity to reach out, whatever, whenever they want. I can do whatever I want, and then I'll reach out when I want, and when I want, when I want. It's so stupid, to be honest. It's so stupid. You take the internet away. Watch how many people, especially females, at a desperation, is just going to run and jump to all these guys. I guarantee it. That's what would happen if the internet disappeared. I guarantee it. But is it going to? No. So, this is what we got. But I see something like an article of like the biggest guys that have to do with the internet, like saying how mistakes were made with technology and, and all kinds of stuff like that. And it, it like ruined the world in a way. And there's definitely pros and cons to the internet. I personally wouldn't want it to disappear. I just think people got to be smarter and got to do better, bro. Like, 
it's so stupid. People just gotta be done with it, bro. People gotta be so manipulative and take advantage and all that kind of bullshit. And I think it's stupid to be that way. Like, we had to live more authentically. We had to live as if what we have right in front of us could easily be gone tomorrow. If you're not living that way, you're not living your best life. To live your best life, you had to live that way. You gotta be humble. You gotta know stuff like that could be gone any day. But no, all these, especially these females today, and I don't want to make this about a female hater video or nothing like this, because some of you females be like that, but to be honest, it's a, big, it's a big problem. It's a big, big problem. It's not because of the guys. It's just not. I just know for a fact what would happen if the internet was going to disappear. How many people would be acting differently? And it wouldn't be a lot of the guys. Maybe some of them would, but a majority of females would be acting real different, bruh. Real different. Real quick, real different. Like, I guarantee it. The world's changed. Women typically today use the internet to their advantage. In such a way that it hasn't taken what's right in front of them for granted. They can't make a decision. Even if they get approached, they can't make the decision. They have to call it off. They have to do this. They have to do that. It's, it's quite ridiculous. And I honestly feel bad for most of the guys that are young right now. Like, when I was young, I had quite... I had some success with the girls, but then again, it didn't end up working out. So it goes to show how many things can take it for granted. And I just hit a point where I'm like, I'm going to focus on myself. It turned out whatever comes to my path, because I know who I want to be, and I'm not messing about. I can't get caught off track. I can't invest into somebody. Who I just don't see a 1,000% future with and there was only a couple girls in a lifetime that ever came my way that I actually saw that with. And because certain things happen, things don't pan out, but I can see something happening pretty, pretty soon to be honest. But I just feel bad for most of the younger guys. Like bro, there's a lot of studs that just, they can't have what they should have with their lives right now because of the stubbornness. Some of you people want to say, oh, it's not just a one-way street, it works both ways, da 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 It works both ways for the top of the top of the top of the top of the top. Okay. But majority? Nah. Nah. It really is that way. And there's no way about that. The females are designed to look for the best guy, but sometimes the best guy is right in front of them that they can get better than them, and they still take it for granted. They still think there's something better. And sometimes they ruin themselves in their future by getting a little too greedy. You had something real good, Slick. <laughs> and you had to get greedy. Don't blame me. Don't blame me, Slick. Blame yourself. I just know I'll be standing tall in life, laugh. I'll be looking at a bunch of people doing it wrong. That's tough. You should have done it right. 
the arrogance and the egos that so many people have today is out of this world, bro. It is out of this world. The way they act, they act so much better than they are. Like you haven't worked to become anything. You're not really nothing. These chicks, bro, average. They're acting like they're the next Kim Kardashians. You're average at best. And you think you deserve something you will never see. It's just incredible what the internet has done. So many of these things have happened. I think the internet has ruined a lot of women, to be honest. I think the internet has got in a lot of women's heads. Maybe not a lot of you on my channel. Because a lot of you females on my channel, these are a little bit older. This might not qualify for you, but I'm talking about you. But when you look at this younger generation, bro, even younger than myself, a lot of these girls, bro, their heads are in the sky, in the clouds. It's all they ever grew up around. Their perception of reality is warped. That's why I feel bad for most of these younger guys, much younger than myself. Like, bro, when I was that young, I was still having my way with females. It wasn't as bad as it is right now. Not even close. But right now, the best guys at their age are not getting shit from these females. Because they think they deserve what Kim Kardashian deserves. Because they're told that. And it's ruining everything. It's ruining a lot of shit. We're talking about the younger generation right now. It's a mostly young people. It really is. Like, it's this... The way I'm explaining it, it is this bad with the young people. The guys want to simplify lives, bro. I talk to many of these younger guys. All they care about is wanting a simplified life with the right girl, but they can't even have that. Because these girls, their heads are in their clouds. So it is the girl's problem. It's not a two-way street. It, it, ain't, it really ain't that at all. It really is female's fault in this case. It really is. And like, I didn't even, I didn't even like, want to really make this video about this to be honest. But I, I had to keep going into detail. But <laughs> it just made me think, like, how different this world would genuinely be in how different females would act if social media and the internet disappeared. Because they would be jumping, bro. They'd be jumping for these guys. They wouldn't care as much. They'd be jumping at more guys and not being so stuck in their ways like they are. Playing their games, doing their dirt. I'm telling you, bro. I remember what it used to be like. It was quite easy to get the better to get the better looking girls. It was quite easy. To get that now, you have to be on your shit. It it wasn't that hard back then. It's harder now. It wasn't that hard back then. Back then as in like ten years ago even. It's changed. And the internet has warped a lot of these girls' minds, to be honest. And I can't help but to tell the truth on that. All you see is guys. Just tell them like. You see it all the time on the internet, bro. All these guys like telling these girls like they're they're this or that and trash it's these gender wars that's going on it's these gender wars that's going on it don't need to be going on nobody should hate one another but it's kind of what things are going towards which is crazy I don't hate nobody 
You should not hate nobody. Nobody should hate nobody but the way that things are today. It's why things are going in that way. And I just feel bad for a lot of these guys. Like it's gonna be so hard for these guys to even live a decent life because of the way the internet has gone. These young guys, bro, are gonna have to dig and grind and bust their balls to even live a decent life. You used to be able to do that without having to go that hard, but now that's what it calls for. And that's what it's gonna be. Because of how warped the internet has made females' minds because of how much they're told they deserve so much. Like, I'm not saying you don't deserve a lot. But let's be real. You're, you're a female, and there's males. There's all kinds of guys on your level. All kinds. You don't need a top 1%. Not every female on Earth even comes close to deserving a top 1%. Not even close. But that's what the world's come to do. Female standards have risen dramatically. Male standards are pretty high too. That's why things ain't gonna work out. Females are also entitled to think they can act and behave however they want. And get girlfriend treatment, wife treatment, and all this kind of treatment. When it's not gonna go that way. Like, I just think the internet has ruined a lot of shit. And if it was to disappear, you would see, especially, a lot of females acting real different, bro. I swear to God, I know for a fact that's what would happen. And I just thought to make a video of this because I've seen a few, like, articles online about this and how it kind of ruined things and whatnot. And I, I do agree. I do like the internet. I like a lot of things that come with the internet, but it, it has ruined a lot of shit. And I just think people out there gotta do better, bro. People gotta do better. Everybody gotta do better. There's this hatred build up for no reason. You know, the best thing you can do today is to focus on yourself. It is to focus on yourself and get 100% correct. And get what you deserve in your life and ride off into the sunset. And you don't have to deal with the modern day fuckery. Because that's what it is. It's modern day fuckery. This is my plan. It should be your plan. It should be everybody's plan. I don't want females to lose. I don't want males to lose. I want everybody to win at the end of the day. This is not about... I want someone to lose. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. No. Everybody should be winning. With one another. We win together. This is how it should be, but... Some people's heads get a little bit deflated, bro. And it's like... That's going to be your own downfall in the end. The only person's downfall that's going to be is your own. If that's the person you are. It's only going to hit yourself. What's perfect for you is right in front of you. And what's going to take some people to realize that is the damn internet disappeared. That's how you would see people act a lot different. Is the internet going to disappear? No, it's not. But I'm telling you, bro, if it did, you would see what I'm saying come to fruition. And that's really all i got to say in this video.